Hey everyone, it's Tracy at T-Ray Art Piece. Thanks for coming back to my art channel. I've started without you. <laughs> um, uh, just for the sake of time, we'll layer a full one together. But as you can see, we're working with three cups on a 22 inch round wood uh, cradle. So, and we're going to be doing a traveling cup pour. And, yeah, bright colors, lots of fun. And also, I'm going to include um, <laughs> some little facts that I've learned and been looking up um, about the history of a cup. It's pretty amazing when you think about how much we use the cup in fluid art. And that's what got me thinking. Um, so I'm going to try to talk to you and layer. I'm not too worried about the colors. They're all going to be traveling around. So, And they'll be in the description. Um, so the first drinking vessel was found in the Upper Paleolithic Age. <laughs> it was a hollowed out wood or pottery, um, clay hardened by heat, and there, there was no handle, so that was the first drinking vessel. And I don't know how many different cups I'm using here, so yeah, I'm layering a bunch of, uh, this is our ties of Arteza Mauve Pale with maybe a little different purple mixed in. The reason I'm saving this guy is I wanted to do two kind of the same layering and then the third to be just kind of whatever colors I want to put in there. I better stop though. I always go heavy handed. <laughs> uh, let's see. Any other color? Got gold. I've sprinkled, just taken some titanium white. Let's see, we're going to do one more layer of something bright. Oh, we'll save that for that cup. I hope you're all doing well. Spring is here almost. I know we all have spring fever. This is. I might add a metallic. Well, I have the 24K gold. Let's set that there. And that's going to be the only metallic. So I'm not really looking for a lot of cells. And the base coat is Amsterdam lamp black. Amsterdam Fallow Green. Some Payne's Gray. Soho Mineral Blue. Oh, can you see this one? Sorry, guys. Uh, Amsterdam King's Blue. Turquoise green. Viridian. By Master's Touch. Let's come in with a little 24K gold in there. Some more lemon yellow. Oop. I may have to get some goobers out of there. Uninvited guest. This is uh, like three pinks, just leftover pinks I mixed up. Amsterdam primary magenta. Mauve 
pail. And if you notice, I, I'm not scraping the sides. When you have leftover cups, you want to stir it, but on the bottom, but don't scrape, because that's when you'll get the little uninvited guests. And you usually get them even that. All right, let's see. Need some orange in there, not right next to that. This is Amsterdam Naples yellow green. And yeah, we'll just come in with the orange. And this is Amsterdam Azo orange. That should be enough color. Probably more than enough, knowing me. All right, add a little. Titanium white, and just used up the rest of this pink. So yeah, we're going to be exploring a lot of uh, different cup pours. So I am open to suggestions and ideas too, if you'd like to see me... Uh, do something or a color palette I'm open to that all right let's get our base down Also, if you have any interesting or fun cup facts, put them in the comments. More than enough paint. Rather too much than not enough. <laughs> All right, I missed the spot. Okay, now I'm going to try. It's like a big pizza to get the excess back in the cup. But that's why I have my mat down, too. It's really easy to read. Use or leave it as a skin if you want. Well, maybe 10% of the paint's getting in there. <laughs> Let it even back out. Hey, it was a valiant effort. <laughs> Try not to say a naughty word. Okay. Let's pop some air bubbles and we'll get to the fun part. Well, all of this is fun for me. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> okay. I have more cups, but like I said... I, three might be too much. I tend to always go a little too much. Okay. Get the sides. I might paint them after everything's dry, the edges, the sides here, or we'll see how cool the drips look. All right. All right, here we go. Well, cheers to you. <laughs> Cup one. Oh, aha, uh -huh. I remembered this time. Add a little black. That's a trick I seen Britta Clayton do. And it just helps your initial 
blend in a little more. Now, composition. Yeah, I'm stalling. I just want to see how... I was thinking one across and two that way. One horizontal, two vertical. It's just a little uneven, the base coat. I can see it. Yeah, and I'm using cups to keep the cradle, the wood up. All right, now let's do this. Promise. So I think I want to start here. Paint consistency is on the thicker side because you don't want them to bleed into one another. You want to keep their the shape, the line. There's really no rules as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> this is such a fun technique. Now I know that's going to go off, but like I said, maybe I'll have cool edges. All right, cup one. Hmm. And then the way I came back, it adds like a 3D. I love that. And your paint will spread. I'm glad I stopped when I did. Your uh, cup definitely had enough. So a little black here. It did kind of taint the top of my... So I didn't put as much in this time. I didn't really like that. Okay. Oh, that 24K gold is just, oh, happy. So the bigger my loop, I can get a little of the background in, and that gives your 3D. Well, looks like I'm making a candy cane, I guess. Oh man, I don't know if I should use three cups. Yee. Oh, there's some of the pink coming out. Hmm. What are you guys saying as you're watching this? have a lot of yellow in the middle. <laughs> this is cool. I think I gotta break up the yellow middle though. It's too much yellow. Let me know if you think I should have stopped. I love the uh, one viewer did that, and I just love hearing that. Um, like your ideas, but one thing you got to keep in mind 
is if you have, you got to get some of the paint off of the canvas. Because sometimes you do this, you're like, that's it, I'm going to keep it. But I'm not loving the middle. So that's where I'm going to go with the third cup. I want to start down below. I don't think so. I already have that. So I want to come up top. And what part do I like the least? Right here. Oh, little black. Should I keep the black out this time? I'm going to. Let's just see. No, watch the timing is, I didn't put as much yellow. I think I'm going to be okay. Like if that yellow comes out. Oh, look at that pink. Now I'm going to come back up through it to break it up. I didn't really want to end up top. It's probably going to go off. Yeah, I don't like that part too much. I don't like the little squiggles. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm getting some cells from the 24K gold. I knew I would. I just didn't want a ton. <laughs> ah, I don't know, an abstract butterfly. There's probably tons of things you can find in this one. All right. But the important step, one of them, you got to be able to stretch it out and get a cool composition. All right. Wish me luck. Here we go. This is going to be a lot of paint. Clear the deck. All right. Yeah, that's heavy. <laughs> I'm not going off any edge yet. I got a lot of weight there. Trying to see which the part I like the least and what I like the best. I'm really glad I broke up that yellow in the middle. I really think it's this side. The 24K gold is giving me too many. Oh. Some parts look neat there. All right, stall tactic. Then we'll go for it. I'll be brave. Wonder if I'll be able to keep any of the uh, negative space. Another challenge of mine. paints down at the back of the canvas so we're coming this way what's really awesome when you stretch it and you start to get to see the color stretching out all right the weights over here and I got to get rid of some of those cells Yep, I just, it's not what I was going for. Don't go too fast. All right, the weight's there. It's ready to go. Over the edge. Bringing it back to me. Oh, 
Hmm. This is wild. A lot different than I have done. All right, I didn't quite, I was hoping to keep a little negative space there. But I'm gonna have to go off further. So it's a good time to take a minute and just see if you have any uninvited guests. I saw that one right away. These are just so fascinating. Sorry, I get caught up in just looking at it. All right, I got to come over this way a little. That helped. Now you always could add back in negative space. And I mean, just by scraping off the color. And I'm tempted to do that right here. I'm not a fan of those lines. It's sticking a little bit, maybe. And there I got some of the big cells. They're pop. These are cooler. They're multicolored. Because <clears throat> if I just stretch all of that off, all right, that's what I'm going to do. Be brave. Here's another example of why you always want extra base color. I am really digging this. This is... <laughs> I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you think I, I'm, I'm happy I added back in negative... Oh, then I just drip on it. See? Get too happy. Um, yeah, I think that made a nice difference. Let me know what you think. And again, we're going to be uh, celebrating and exploring the cup together. There might be some other short little videos if I that aren't related to the cup, but at least once a week we're going to be doing a cup series for a little bit. Suggestions, ideas, feedback, comments. I'd love for you to subscribe. Um, that'd make my day. And like the video if you like that. Got some bubbles. But I am done. I'm 
getting it on the drying table and may have to torch it again. But I'm not touching it. <laughs> oh, almost, I don't know, eggs. I'll do a close-up. Um, and we'll be seeing you. Take care of yourselves. Find your peace. Bye-bye.